Music is essential for a person with dementia. We're immersed in music from before birth. It's well known a fetus responds to music in their mother's womb. It becomes part of the rhythm of our lives, just as the rhythm of a mother's heartbeat is embedded in a developing baby's subconsciousness. And then, of course, the rhythm of a mother's walk. The clickety-clack of a train going over the tracks is so familiar that when that rhythm is reflected in poetry, it brings a smile to our faces. And I wonder if the rhythm of our different voices also make a difference. We grow up listening to singing and rhythms, lullabies, nursery rhymes, toy drums, dancing. Then music becomes personal, depending on family background and culture. When I was in Africa, I loved the people and their music, so different to ours. They had five notes in their octave, as do Negro spirituals, and their drums. Classical music used to be played in school assemblies, so it became familiar to everyone. Music for dance has changed down the centuries. I was recently present when a piece of music woke up a group of seemingly listless people with dementia. Some even getting to their feet and jiving. I could hardly believe it. What joy! Throughout life, music is used to express oneself, reflect mood, calm, reassure, energize, motivate. We can identify with it, almost always bringing joy. It makes us feel better. Relationships can be strengthened through it, even between residents and staff. Music can even slow down the progression of dementia, partly because so many parts of the brain are stimulated through hearing, thinking, memories, awakened emotion, even motor skills for arm movements, foot, foot tapping, dancing. Music seems to tie up the loose ends in the brain and can enable a person, otherwise almost silent, to talk, even for a short while. Because of our past, music for a person living with dementia can be very different to another's and different to the care providers. We tend to remember music from our late teens and early twenties. Personalised playlists need to be easily accessible, such as on an MP3 player with earphones. Singing has great psychological benefit. It can make us feel we belong. The Alzheimer's Society runs singing for the brain groups. There are those who suggest there should be a choir in every care home. But music just in itself can be life-giving. I have seen amazing responses when professional musicians perform amongst our residents or at social gatherings. Music for Dementia 2020 was launched to provide a national hub of amazing resources. In July 2019, NICE updated their quality standards on dementia to include music therapy. Music is essential in dementia care. It's specific to the person's familiar and personal preferences, influenced from before birth during childhood, in every culture. For all of us, music, from the cradle to the grave, is as important as the air we breathe.